What is going on, lady boys? We're out here in Big Bear, California, and uh, we're with some of our buddies. We got Rabbit Man. He is back right now. There he is, right there. Look at that. He's ripping. You're back, Rabbit Man. What? Did you ride that all the way home from Oklahoma? Is that what happened? Oh, I get out. 80 miles a gallon on this hog. <laughs> no gloves or nothing, huh? No gloves, just the old trusted helmet. He just pulled up. He's like, hey, I'm coming in from Oklahoma. He's like, if you guys want to meet me up in Big Bear, uh, we'll meet you up there. So, just pulled up. Pretty pumped you're back, dude. You back for good or what? Back for good, dude. Did my time, my hard time of uh, labor out there in Oklahoma. All right. So, Radman's back, back to some adventure videos. I missed them. Oh, yeah, me too, man. We're going to go back into climbing in caves, doing stuff we shouldn't. There's Dom right there. We got Travis from SDRC. If you guys seen the last videos at the RC track, he's a dirt bike rider too. And he's out here working on his bike, actually, which is weird because I never work on my bike. As you guys can see, it's pretty hammered. My fender's all crooked. Sorry for those guys that complain about that when the fender's all crooked and you can't stand it. Oops. Dom, how are you doing? Good. Good? Well, like crap up here. Yeah, I know. I was like wide open to go up that little rock right there. Dude, it, like, it will not rev out at all. No, uh-uh. It like loads up so fast. We're at high altitude. What altitude are we even at? 30,000? Yeah, maybe 31, I think, at this peak here. About 31,000 feet, and so the bikes don't run like they should, for sure. We're, I think we're going to set out on the Malcolm Smith Trail, which I've heard is pretty gnarly. Travis is saying that boulders are the size of uh, Rabbit Man's bike right there, so. Yeah, I mean, how hard could it be, dude? It couldn't be that hard, right? Yeah, I'll just whiskey throttle right over them bastards. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, like. Any, a pit bike could go anywhere these bikes go. No problem. Yeah, because you only have two wheels. I got two wheels and two feet. Yeah, he's got two feet, two wheels. That's very true. And 110 horsepower in that thing. 110 horsepower. That's why it's the 110. Yeah. So, should be good to go. Uh, should we ride around a little bit here and get warmed up and then head out? All right, so Travis is having some bike problems. Uh, hang on, I got to read. Uh, designated. Oh, I think this is it. I don't know where the heck I'm going. I really wanted him to come, so he uh, knew. Malcolm Smith. This has got to be it. All right, you guys go for it. So, the deal is, Travis's bike is broke. The battery's dead. We tried using Dom's, didn't work. But he's going to go into town, get one. We're going to see how far we can get up this Malcolm Smith Trail. Ratman's on the pitter. It, I picked it up for 400 bucks. Pretty good deal. And so I was like, you know what? Take this thing on the trail because it doesn't matter if you crash off a cliff, you know? And uh, so we'll see how he does. He hasn't rode in a long time, but I'm sure he'll be good to go. So we're starting to trail. Never, I have not taken you guys too many places. I don't really go ride too many different places. I've been wanting to. I've been saying I was going to, and I, it's just so easy to ride my hills. I know them all so well, and it just gets straight to the point. This is like a three-hour drive out and stuff like that, but it is super fun to go ride new places, so we definitely got to start hitting it more. Yeah, Rabbit Man. As long as it stays like this the whole time, Rabbit Man's freaking dialed, but it doesn't. It gets super gnarly. <laughs> The bike keeps loading up on me too. Alright dude, it's been a while. Uh huh. A little shaky. <laughs> a little shaky, you got it though. <laughs> oh yeah, hey, I forgot to mention that thing doesn't have brakes so he's a little screwed on that. Uh oh. I feel like you get super gnarly here. Oh, man, he's moving! 
Catch up to Dom. See how he's doing up here. Oh, this trail is so sick. It's kind of fun not knowing it. Like my trails, I know every every corner, you know, every rock on the other side, everything. But when you don't know the trails, it makes it kind of exciting because you could <laughs> fly right off a cliff. Dom, catch you sicker! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's just powder, you're just like drifting everywhere. This is so sick. It's like mountain bikes, but on dirt bikes. Like the mountain bike trails in Mammoth and stuff and up here. So sick. Okay, where do we go now? Huh. Oh, I think that's hiking still. That is? Oh yeah, no dirt bikes. Must be hiking. <laughs> you know you're on the right trail when it's a double black diamond. It says most difficult. <laughs> you ever been down double black? Those aren't even double black diamonds. They're like double black jagged lines. Yeah, they're like double jagged diamonds. Yeah. Hopefully that means it's harder. Most difficult. How's the Jeep getting through here? Exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. There's no way like my razor or Jeep could fit down this. No. That is weird. Alright, so I think the start of the trail is over here. Whoa! <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, here we go. Is that the trail? No. Oh, water crossing. He said there's water crossing. No fish. God, you don't get water over there in freaking uh, Nuevo. <laughs> the Malcolm Smith trail, is it this way? Malcolm Smith trail? Oh, huh, they're lost. Uh, is it hard this way? Does it get hard or no? Uh, it, gets, it gets hard a little bit on the side. Okay, cool. We're just looking for the hard one. Oh, okay. Okay, sweet. Thanks, guys. They're lost, I think. Or does it cut off there? I don't know.
we got our first little rough part here to the trail. Dom's already stuck. I'm at the winch's bike out. Rabbit man is chugging along. Yeah, rabbit man. That was it right there, I think. Probably not getting harder than that. No way a Jeep's coming up here. I don't care what anyone says. I know, so did I. Pick good line, drop man. There you go. That a boy. Are you at first? Shift down, mate. Are you really? That thing's lugging for first. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Altitude. Altitude, pry. All right, let's do it. God, I feel bad for Rabbit Man on that freaking piece of crap. <laughs> Not even going anywhere in first gear. He's also a little bit bigger than like the average 12 year old that's supposed to be riding that bike, so that could also be a problem. small 
problem uh, I knocked the wind out of myself <laughs> without crashing believe it or not it was like a controlled goon crash that you guys probably missed but we uh, broke the mount off the helmet so now we're going to be running on the other side micless so it's just going to be straight shredding all the way down I think how does it sound though does sound good less like that less less of that because my freaking ribs hurt my lungs so it starts shredding but that's true Coaching race starts now lady boys hopefully you can hear me i don't know if you can no mic oh man i think i broke a rib possibly <clears throat> hurts really bad <laughs> No loud motors, all annoying. That horrible two stroke noise. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thank you. 